Rare Earth Super Magnets. Super strong, lifelong, and today we're going to show you how to use them to attach a couple of armor pieces together. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Another option, rather than using leather straps and buckles, velcro, or even crushed rivets to fasten armor together, is to utilize rare earth magnets. Rare earth magnets are incredibly strong, more so than your conventional magnets, and they come in various thicknesses and diameters. These ones are 3mm in height with an 8mm diameter, and makes them perfect to countersink into tabs that are going to be used to fasten two halves of some neck armor together. So let's get to work. And as per usual, this is where it's all going to start. Simple paper pattern that I've cut out to fit within the neck piece that I'm using. The solid line indicates the cut that I'm going to make on one half. The dotted line represents where the neck brace actually splits in two. So when I cut these out, I'm going to cut out eight of them because I need four on either side. And two of these are going to make up one singular hitch. So when it's all said and done, I've got eight cut out and we're going to apply the magnets right away. Here's one of the tabs with the magnet glued in. Um, essentially, we bored the hole out uh, from the pattern that we drew onto the Sintra uh, using a Dremel tool with a conical sanding tip. Now, you're going to wind up making mistakes here. I've already had to cut three extras out because I drilled the hole too big and the magnet wouldn't fit. So what you want to do is under drill a little bit, test, drill, test until you got a nice tight fit. And then on the inside of the ring, you want to apply a little bit of crazy glue so that when you set the magnet in, it catches the glue and stays in there nice and secure. So here are the two tab pieces pulled apart, cleaned edged, and looking pretty sharp, ready to rock and roll. The bottom one is marked up because I'm going to be taking some excess plastic off of there to make my tabs a little more cleaner, a little easier to work with. And the top one will be our fastener. So here we go, trimming's all done. I've rounded off my corners just because I don't want sharp little edges poking into the side of my neck when I put this all together. The bottom one here, as you can see, has the tab that's going to attach to the flat part of the neck brace itself. The top one is going to sit right underneath and if I take this and I can show you how much strength there actually is, snap it together just like that. To keep the armor tight together to make sure that the magnets go in place exactly where we want them, we've put the two pieces together and taped them up on the outside with straight masking tape. On the inside you can see where the dividing line actually is and magnets are going to be placed on either side of that dividing line, top and bottom. And here's essentially what the tab looks like when it's glued into place. Simple latch that goes from side to side and the magnet holds everything in place. And here we go. All the tabs are in place. All the magnets are securely glued in. So when we put this together, everything just clicks into place. It is super strong. It doesn't shake. As you can see here, we're not losing any sort of structure here. Uh, it's far better than the Velcro for sure. So if you have armor that is in two separate halves and it's going to be a pain to try and get on by yourself, I highly advise using the rare earth magnets simply due to the fact that the holding strength is definitely better than Velcro. It's cleaner and you don't have as much fuss to get try and get stuff on or have somebody else try and get it on for you. So there you go. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot us a message. I'm going to take this piece, pad it up and put it aside so it's ready to go.